Okay, I call them. Oh, we don't have Jane to do minutes. Um, I don't know if somebody is willing to to do minutes because we're missing Joyce. I Oh, there's Jane. Yeah, she's a long walk. Jane, are you there? Oh, she's in the waiting room. There she is. Oh, okay. I'm so afraid of messing with this thing. Technology scares me. Okay. Anyone else coming in? I'm waiting for John Butler. Jane Claudio to join. Got somebody else just drove in. Oh. I mean, we can start with the easy stuff if once Jane is on board. You there, Jane? Running. <laughs> you are sideways today. I have no idea what to do about that. <laughs> Why is the that's asking you to click on the Oh, no, that's. Uh, hello. Hello. Sit wherever you're comfortable. I'm like, I'm sitting over here where I need the computer, but I'm not wearing a mask because if I wore a mask, you wouldn't hear me. We're just figuring out the technology now. Okay, I call the meeting to order. First order of business. Oh, I'm gonna have to share screen. That's not it is the minutes. We have both the minutes from the February and March meetings to approve. If you remember, there was a question last month regarding. Hello, we're just starting. Come here, come here. Regarding which band was for which day, um, that was what was in the minutes on for February. The resolution is TJ Peters' Family Fun Day, and Bad News Jazz Band is the library dedication. I provide on the Monday. I revise the February minutes to reflect that. And I have a motion to accept the February minutes as revised. Move to accept them as revised. All in favor? And do I still have to do roll call or just roll call? You'll probably need to do roll call for the members on Zoom. Right. Okay. okay, let me do that first. Bill? Yep. Zach? Yep. Chris? Yes. Jane? Yes. Sarah? Okay, in this room, all in favor, I think we can just raise our hands. Yep. All in yep. favor, I, anybody I, opposed? I think we've got everybody. Okay, motion to accept the March minutes as submitted. So moved. Unless there are any changes. I have what, just one, one comment in regards to the trade where it says there'll be no problem going over I-91 bridge. It was, <laughs> it was meant to say no river bridge. Minor, no, should say no. Keith, what did you say? It's in regards to going over the Mill River Bridge. Yeah. You in your minutes, there'll be no problem going over the I-91. So it should say Mill River Bridge? Yes. I will, I will revise that. Um, can we approve those minutes pending me making that revision? That's it. That's an easy one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Zach. Voting on the minutes. Zach, do you approve voting the minutes for March? Yeah. Bill. Yeah. Chris. Yes. Jane. Yep. Sarah. Yep. In this room. All in favor of approving the minutes. Aye. And I think that's everybody. Thank you. So I'll pass you now. Um, next on the agenda is the fundraising update. I'm not really sure there's, unless any of you know anything pending. I don't want to spend time on things that we don't much to talk about. 
Anybody have anything to say on fundraising? We've gotten some nice donations. Norse, Fairview, yeah. Yankee yeah. Candle, CM Wood, Irish Books, and yeah. then some other uh, some we'll, smaller yeah. ones. Um, I'm on the street from Pepsi Cola. Oh, nice. Excellent. Thank you. We gave a packet to uh, Caldwell by Bankers this afternoon. She seemed interested. Okay. Awesome. We will take money up until the last minute. We like money. Money is good. Okay. I am now for these, the events. Let's see if this works. I am going to share my screen. Can everybody, I am now not seeing the people at home. Yes, you're sharing. Okay. On this screen, I'm not. If you press, yeah, the mini. Ah, got it, got it, got it. Okay. So bear with me. Sorry, this is new technology for me. Um, so what I have done is I have created a master schedule of events that I intend to be you know, pretty much our Bible from here on out, that everything for each event will open. If somebody sees on that screen that somebody is trying to get into the meeting, tell me because I may not see it here. Um, a little blue box from the time, you wouldn't have to worry. Oh, actually, it is Joyce. Joyce. Yes, Okay, so I do see it on here. I wasn't sure. Okay, so for each event, I have created these columns where we know the date. Just, I'm not going to go through it all, but for events that you're involved in, check the time, check the location, make sure this is correct, because this is what is feeding into marketing and PR materials. So if we have the wrong time or wrong place for an event, it we're going to be advertising wrong. Adelia. It's not that it's printed wrong, but we did have a meeting and we would like to, the ecumenical community would like to change the time of the church service to 11. This will allow uh, priests and choir members from churches that would still be in church until 11. They could get to the service and it would increase the number of participants. If there's no objection from uh, the, our church is agreeable. Um, any, any, anybody object to moving the time for the ecumenical service from 10 o'clock, from 10 to 11, to make it 11 to 12? Okay, I think that's fine. Yeah. I will change that here. Lisa, you've got that? Um, and you'll understand why I'm looking to Lisa for this, because she's got something exciting to share out of it. Thank you. Um, okay. So uh, yeah, as we go through my hands, my hands. As we go through this, double check time, date. But I've added some other columns that I need as we go through, I need everybody's input on. So if for an event there is a band, Joyce, are you there? I thought I saw you somewhere. I think we lost Joyce. Yeah, I'm I'm back. I was lost and now I'm found. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. There's Don. Okay, great. Um, so for each event, the columns that I've put in are if there is a band, what the band is, or a music. Um, I am going to use the word band, even if they don't consider themselves. If there is food, what who is the food vendor? Is it an alcohol event? Do we need to apply for a liquor license for that event? Um, if there is something related to alcohol of uh, that, that you want to note on here, you know, beer from Berkshire Brewing or something like that, we can put that in here. Is is it a ticketed event? I've tried laying out boxes that I think aren't relevant for that event. That doesn't mean I'm right. So feel free to tell me, no, the car show is a ticketed event and we will 
fix that. Do you want to know that now, or do you want us to tell you that later? As we go through each event, whoever is running that event, tell me what you can for that event, and we'll populate it. Okay. Um, costs. I'm not actually concerned with costs yet. We obviously will be, but that is less important. If there is a sponsor, I'd fill that in. Is police coverage needed for the event? So I look for that. Do we need your porta potties or other things? I want to talk about photography. My thinking is to have a stable of photographers. This is too much for any one person to photograph. But if we have, I don't know, you know, five photographers, I totally made up that number. And we schedule them. So you are a photographer, Adelia, and you're handling the car show and the parade. Keith, you are handling the fireman's muster and watermelon wings. Yeah. So that we know who's covering what. We will come up with an hourly uh, fee that all photographers will get the same fee. Fred is working with Lisa to get, and I think Ashley, to get a Dropbox where things like photographs can be uploaded from everyone and then sorted through after the fact. We just want to make sure we get some documentation of every event. Right. And then the last field is do you need volunteers? I'm trying to see if I can get this all up on the screen. Do you need volunteers? Uh, if so, how many do you need? And do you know, do you have a thought on where volunteers can come from? For example, I was talking with Amy Schrader earlier today, and she's talking to a couple of the sports teams from the high school to uh, staff family day. So I don't want this to be deadly to go through, but we really need this information. Is, does it make sense to go through an event by event and people just tell me what to fill in? Do people want to go? <laughs> I see John shuddering. Let's go. Okay, start. fine. And I will call on the person who I think um, we'll have the answers for that event, but any, but yeah, tell me if I'm wrong. So the first one is Joyce because it's for cruise night. Mm -hmm. Do you need our, we have alcohol for cruise night? I just put in a no there. Right. Um, it's not ticketed. It's not ticketed. Um, and the cost, it's in the concert budget. I, and I'd have to double check with Paul, but I think it's either 600 or $900. Okay, for the moment, I'm going to just put 600 to 900 as a placeholder. Fine. Um, you do not have a sponsor unless we call Tom's the sponsor. Well, I mean, we're basically smudging in on his event. So, um, I Let's is get, that calling in a sponsor? I, like an yeah, yeah. I yeah. Can give him credit for that. Okay. No. Do you need police for that? And I, I look to both you and Bates. When I ask that question, because I, you know, you know, I'm, I'm looking at Bates. You know, and we have somebody that's going to be on duty that night. Oh, whoever's on duty, I think can handle that. Okay. Um, obviously, the chief has final say, not me. Okay. So, but we've never had a problem with his cruise nights, and if it's just we're kind of jumping in on his cruise night, so he's never had an issue. I think we had a guy down there at one time. We really didn't need. I think it was me. Okay, we do not need porta potties. <laughs> I, I think he's got porta potties there. Yeah, and are you going to need volunteers beyond what he normally has? I didn't really hear what you just said. Do you anticipate needing volunteers beyond his normal staff? At the moment, no, but I will um, get back in touch with Paul later this week. Uh, he has a few people who always helps him out with concerts, and I was going to enlist my family members to help too. Um, so. Yeah, we're, we're roping in our kids too. I just have yeah. to remember to tell them that. Yeah, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, yeah, I should tell them, huh? Um, yeah. Um, okay. And photographer, that would be nice. Okay, 
I'm assuming but it just doesn't for everything for the moment we can ignore that column that will be okay. once we've identified the photographers we will assign them for that okay tractor parade and Susan? yes um just wondering um obviously uh we could do this another way but just wondering if you want to add souvenir sales as a column that is a good one hold on whoops i keep losing control okay so we'll is that a venue where we want to be selling souvenirs thanks that looks great Okay, so um, had not thought about it, so I'll make put a question mark in there. Okay, excellent, thank you. And if I get Joyce, I need to talk to you at some point, if someone does, to talk to Nat about souvenir sales or ticket sales or publicity at town meeting. Okay. Talk to Amy about that, and she said that's Nat's department. Okay. So if you want to give them a heads up, that we'll be reaching out to him. Okay, the tractor parade. Uh, Keith, I'm looking to you on yep. this one. Um, time, we can leave it at 10. I'm going to guess it'll probably be at least till noontime. Probably, it's fair to say, at least noon. Um, no band. Food vendors. Um, there is Bridgeside Grill and Two Screws Catering. Excellent. No alcohol. No alcohol. It's not ticketed. No tickets. We'll get back to cost. Do, do we know where the vendor will be setting up? Fairview Farms. That's okay. where it starts and stops. Okay, so I'm going to turn You can add that, I guess, if you want. Start start location and ending location is at Fairview Farms. I'm going to apologize in advance for typos. I will clean this thing up afterwards. And police are going to be needed. Porta potties. Um, we again because we have what five? Three porta potties. We have a bunch. Six. So five or six. Since we have them, we may we may decide to to move them around a little bit for that, but we'll see. Um, what else? Um, Do you need volunteers? Volunteers sh should be covered by the committee. And as far as souvenirs go, um, it doesn't it, seem it, like it's a thing to sell souvenirs at because there isn't one place everyone will be at. That's right. just my perspective. That's probably, I would probably agree that it doesn't necessarily have to happen. Great. As far as sponsors go, um, there is going to, you know, there's a whole slew of some of the people that are making donations towards that. Um, Poplar Hill Farms, JD Bar Builders. Triple B Blasting. Keith, you just let me know. I mean, you know, who, yep. who's contributing and what? When I know if, it, if it's in kind, when, I'll, I'll send once the, our, the budget time. aspect is not quite finalized, okay. but when that does, then I can come back to you with, Fine. Perfect. with that aspect. Can, can I jump in here on this one? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Great. Um, I thought that we had on ours, okay. that was one of my questions was where does it start and end? How would I know? We are offering the antique tractors if they want to come back to the engine show. With the tractors, more than welcome. Or where? Yep. I don't know if you. We're we're definitely one. You know, the parade will be going by right. your location, and we do want to because they're so similar. Right. We want the people involved in the tractor parade to then go visit you. I, I wasn't sure how to bring it up because I I don't have room for everybody. I don't have a loading dock or. No, you but know, I, you know, certainly we would like to encourage people that participate in the parade to then take a moment and go yeah, visit and your location for the steam engine. And people want to show up, participate, you're welcome to. 
Yep. That's why we wanted to do them on the same time, same day, because they, they, they go hand in hand. Right? Nice. Yeah. Good. Okay. Speaking of the Steve Engine show. Yep. Um, excuse me. I'm pretty sure John Shamuka would be happy to photograph the tractor parade. Um, He'll do some other photography. I'm not sure what yet. Okay, so who was it? Who was that? John Shamuka with a C H A M U T K A and no H in John. Oh, I'm like, wait a minute. You said there was an H. I get confused easily. Thank you. <laughs> You said she was going to clean it up. I think <laughs> I'm just thinking with the tractor parade also. Print up this sheet of paper or something advertising your steam engines just to give to people because people who are watching tractor parade may well be interested in going over, even if they're not there. They should notice it when they're driving by. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, no, no, if there are people along the way who are watching, yeah. 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 attending the, the schedule. It will also yeah. be on the schedule. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Are we going to have flyers for anything? I think that there's certain ones where we should certainly consider that. Okay. I don't know which ones, but yeah, we can sort that out. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one for the steam engine show where we give them out to people along the track. Yeah. Okay. Steam engine show. I want to keep this moving. Whoops. Steam engine show. You do not have a band. You do, no. you do not have food, you do not have alcohol, you don't need tickets. Um, no cost. Do you need police? I'm sorry, do you need police? I will have to. Unless somebody really raises hell. Like, oh. <laughs> okay. Um, it's porta potties. Porta potties, we're, we're donating that. Thank you. We have porta potties. Well, yeah, we can move them around. We better if you need one. We can. We've only got one. Plus, um, I have, plus I have the yeah. bathroom in the building. I will leave that to you guys right. to coordinate. Again, okay. I don't want to take time for the whole group. Right. Again, it's one of those, it's so weather dependent and we have no clue if there's going to be five people or 5,000. You know, you got. Like, what do you usually Welcome want? to my world. <laughs> if it's a good, we've had as many as 600. That would be awesome. That's a bit. Because I'm thinking this is going to be one of your bigger years because we're going to be bringing people for other things as well. Hard to say. Nice. Send them down to the poker night after they're leaving their place. <laughs> um, okay. So, yeah, Bates, as we go through this, tell me if there's anything you want me to add police coverage for that you think it's new. Yeah, I figured I. Okay. Um, volunteers, you've got that covered? Uh, yes, hopefully they show up. And do we want to sell, sell, set up the souvenir table there? What am I looking for? I'm looking for Chris. Um, what are you selling for souvenir? We have the Waitley 250 candles, the look uh, etched milk bottles that have 250 on them. Uh, and one of the things we want to talk about today is several people have said we really should have t shirts. One of the things that we're doing. Providing the founders gets their act together. We hired them a brand made the wood burn wood shingles, it just says Waitley 250 for, oh, do, you need for the, do you need the logo? No. Okay. You can't you can't get that elaborate. Okay. The detail doesn't come out. That's fine. Okay. Wood burning. So I don't okay. know that we want to sell the regular souvenirs. I think that is unique. And I don't want to compete with that. I think, we're, I think we're just going to put like donation and donate the money to this event. Awesome. Thank and you. We'll see what happens. Okay. So if the foundry doesn't come through, something's going to happen. Okay. And I arranged a set up this week that we with Square so we can do orders on the fly on phones. So we can, we'll have we can process credit so. cards at, on the spot rather than just having to take cash. I mean, for, for, the, for those, for, for any souvenirs, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, no, for, but, but for any souvenirs, if we sell candles someplace, yeah. we can do it. Yeah. Okay, let's let's keep things moving. We are up to polka night. Yes, that's me. That's you. Am I right on time, place? Or a fire station? Is it past the band? Yeah. Right now we have Tom's. Oh, yes. 
The ticket thing, I don't know how to handle that. I'm not charging for the event, but I'm wondering if we could do something just to kind of get a, an idea, an estimate, like if you sell, or just get a free ticket. Yes, that. yeah. I've got, I set up an Eventbrite account that we're doing for the chicken barbecue, so I, we can set up like just a free ticket. Yeah, just log on here to get your free ticket. It'll give you a very general idea because if they're free, there's no incentive for people to actually show up. But it Is would it help. It or not? I, 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 I don't know. I don't know either. I mean, it, it do could you need to, Do you need to cap attendance? No. The, the reason I see ticket, I see the free tickets coming into play is a place where we have to cap, like some of the concerts. Oh, but the no, movie. I don't need tickets. Just don't find tickets. We just don't know, like telling Tom. We could have 100 people there, we could have 700 people there. And we had a little over 200 people at the cake lighting event, and so I think you're going to have like maybe between two and three hundred people looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. So I know I your. 250 website with the, the different events, you know, have you looked at any of them that say how many are interested or how many are going? As a, as a guy, <laughs> I looked at as a guy. Guy. Sure. I mean, they've only been up there for like a couple of weeks and we've not been advertising or promoting right. them. So I don't think it's a great estimate right now, but it's something we but it will be in another, today, like in another five month or two. But, or interested or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but I, th I think that'll be a more relevant thing yeah, come June. Yeah. Like we, right. can, we can even encourage people. The planning on coming? You know, show your love on Facebook. 115 people have already said they're interested in the coconut. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and we have, and we are going to and nobody's from Wayman. <laughs> <laughs> And we're going to be, and that's one of the events we've talked about advertising, including uh, there's a radio station that has a polka show, as I understand it. Yes, but I have a bunch of people that wanted to do that already. Like Bill Corza from MGM, up in sorry. He has a great connection with the radio. Great. So, do, you, do you want to take on, like if you've got connections listening. for that? As far as the radio goes, he says he'll handle all that. So I'm like, Great. you rock on, dude. Okay. And then we're also going to put an ad in the paper in the Gazette and the Recorder. I don't, uh, I don't think we're going to need to, but that's... Okay. The, the, the downside to this whole thing, in my mind, is I don't want... This is, again, my own personal opinion. I don't want to advertise so widely that we bring people in from all over, and then the, the residents from the town of Waitley that show up go home discouraged because there was so many people yes. that they say I couldn't even dance or something of that nature. So that's why I'm thinking and, the free tickets. And, and that's why in one aspect, it would be nice to have some form of knowing how many people are coming. But at the same point in time, if you just put it down that it's free tickets, what's to stop me from saying I want 10 and I only really need two. So. You can cap, even with the free tickets, you can cap how many one person can pay. But with the free tickets, it's still like, I guess if you're not, there's no money exchange, it's not really. Unless we want to charge a minimum amount, $5, something, so they feel a little bit, you know, they think about it. As far as the tickets go, and I know I'm jumping ahead of things, but there are several events that will need to be ticketed for crowd control. We, Keith, we were having a conversation that you're talking about of uh, we don't want to close out Waitley residents because everybody in the county wants to come. So we're talking about advertising locally that tickets are available at town meeting, uh, at the Historical Society event, if the Historical Society will allow us to, for Waitley residents. And, uh, we're, we were talking with Lynn and Amy about this today, and they were excited to, because maybe this will drive people to come to town meeting. Like, now's your chance to get tickets while they're available. Then, once residents have gotten, had a chance to get to tickets, then if we go public with it, at least we know that we've given residents first crack. 
Does that sound okay to everybody? This is just what we've been talking amongst ourselves. I mean, at the same point in time, I. I understand the desire not to charge PL either. I just assume have it be a free event to our <clears> residents <throat> too, but mm -hmm. you can't stop the, the general public from out of town. And there's going to be a following with the with the yeah. van too. You know, his the Dennis, his Leski, his his he's gonna have followers that, that are coming from who knows where and they're gonna be coming too. So what if we did free for rent? This wouldn't be ticketed. This would be at the door. Free for residents, ten dollars for non-residents, or some some of them. That'd be a nightmare, I think. Yeah. I'm not charging for the bulk Okay. Okay. I'm making that very clear. I put my foot down. Okay. That we are not there charging. That's what I was just saying, Doc. I'm yeah. trying to get you guys money. Like if I you know, want money out of there. Keep an eye on it because. We've talked about it. <laughs> it's your event. My darn event. It's your event. That's what you want. That's what so you want. Okay. We're, we're moving on. Okay. I have to ask you, as the organizer of the Tulpa event, do you want police coverage for your event? We'll definitely have law enforcement officers. <laughs> yes. And they will yes. be on the dance floor if you need them. Yes. We yes. will. Let's see. Pick it in. Uh, the cost, I don't know what you're looking for for cost, but I know the band is 1200 Okay. And I'll need a check and I'll give you who it needs to be made out to. Okay. Yeah, that's his department. Because yeah. I have that in my office. Is it 1200 Yep. Great. And I don't know as far as when it comes to um, with Tom's, I believe I've set it up so that he's just coming and whatever money he makes, he makes. I don't have to pay him to come or anything like that. Great. Another food vendor that I talked to said, yeah, it's going to cost you this amount for me to come. Stay home. I'm like, but it's not going to cost me anything if you ain't coming. <laughs> if Tom's will do it, that's a perfect deal. What do you say? Who sees this? Right now, everybody in the meeting and on the side. Why? I'm just not sure you want to put the put the amount up there. Uh, this is internal. I mean, for for our purposes. We need to know. I can have a separate file that I could budget in. This won't go. Well, actually, no. We're being live cast. Oh, <laughs> we're being live cast. Okay. Yes. Wait, I want to scrap the paper. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'll have probably at least two deep or two uniformed officers and a bunch of others Great. as well. Okay. Uh, Photographer, there'll be plenty of pictures being taken. That's not an issue. Volunteers, I probably will need volunteers. Um, I think I've got a couple lined up. You sent me the uh, a couple already. Yeah, there was that woman who yeah, wanted. Which I've already been working with her anyway. Okay, but let us know how many you need. And I'm assuming because alcohol will be sold, will be available, um, we can't use the high school kids. That'd be a big fat no. <laughs> like we're gonna have to hire people. Yeah. yeah. Well, the whole alcohol thing. I mean, we're talking with these two here anyway, so we're gonna. That'll be fine. Okay. Not worried about that. Um, the big thing is who's paying for the beer. Okay. But do we that. want? If we are providing the beer, this is a liability question, and I look to my resident lawyer here. If we are providing beer. Yeah. Do we have to like give everybody a like, beer ticket? You can have two beers. Are we liable if we are giving them and somebody gets drunk and gets in an accident? Yes. Yeah. That, uh, that, it's free beer. That's no, that's just <laughs> I'm, but I'm not saying they have to pay for it. Well, they are. That, the, the, the alcohol is not going to be free. Oh, okay. Because when you said who's paying for it, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was confused. It's been a day. <laughs> She hasn't been around that. There'll be, there'll be bar, the bartenders that are going to be there are going to be tip certified, which oh, is it's yeah. compliant with the industry state, standard state regu regulations. And I'm going to right now offer a sincere apology from the two of us. We are going to miss the bulk of dance. My niece has the audacity to be getting married that night in Great Barrington. I guess we can give you guys that. <laughs>
So the fact that we are not there does not mean we don't support your revenge. We can bring the whole reception back to the phone. <laughs> it would probably be a little bit they more fun. Yeah, right. at least pick that weekend to get married. Uh, okay, do we have everything for you? Do we have insurance? I think it's it's, key. We have the town oh, insurance? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't it's think under, we want to the umbrella of the town. Yeah, most, most, I think every event is all of the events are. All the events are under town umbrella policy. And somebody from the select board member is going to sign off on the alcohol permit for the town? Yes. That probably be me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you don't have to be there, because I am not going for Barrington without you. I have to do it with my sister. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got at this point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> there may be requirements for some kind of insurance for alcohol. I don't remember. So somebody should check with Brian on that. We've um, been working with Brian on all these things. Okay, all right, good. So, so you're on top of that. Okay, moving on. Adelia, ecumenical service. Information is now correct? Correct. You do not have a band. You do not have food. I assume you do not have alcohol. Food doesn't have to be ticketed. Lots of police. You don't need a sponsor. <laughs> do you need police coverage? No. Do you need porta potties? No. There will be a... I was about to say there will be a photographer. Is there an, any objection if there's a photographer during? Because some religions don't like that. Okay. And I assume we're not selling souvenirs. You are easy. Fireman's muster. Cancel. <laughs> <laughs> no language, is it? What's that? Is oh, there no man. Silence. Oh. We have a food vendor. Is it Zach? Billy? Yeah. It's bad. Zach? Oh, the food vendor. We're going to sell the alcohol. There'll be no tickets. Uh, the total cost of what it's going to cost us for the day. Is that what we're looking for? Yeah, although we don't have to have that right now. Okay. We can't have that. Uh, we probably have to have at least one officer there because we're selling alcohol. And we will move our porta potties down there because there's going to be six of them at the fire station for, this, for these events. What Do you there? need volunteers no. beyond your group? No. I would think that would be a good place to sell souvenirs. Yeah. It could be. What about the polka night, too? John Shulka will photograph the fireman's muster also. Okay, hold on. All right. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, You're volunteering him a lot. Or they won't volunteer him. I did She's talk to him. <laughs> Great. Okay. The Historical Society lecture, we don't have anybody here for that. I'm assuming we don't need police for that. Pretty wild um, group. Yeah, kind of wild over there sometimes. I don't know. I don't know if they need volunteers. I don't know that it's worth setting up. I don't think it would be. Years for no, I don't. Okay. Don's willing to photograph that also. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> He's busy that weekend. Awesome. Okay, the library event. The first thing I want to talk about with this event. So this event is dedicating our, the gifts to the town, the bench, and the panorama. Uh, there is also going to be the Bad News Jazz Band playing. Uh, we talked about having a food truck or possibly be an ice cream vendor and making, you know, telling people it's a picnic, bring their own. I was thinking about the tethered balloon rides, and I'm not sure about that. My concern is people are going to be so excited for the tethered balloon rides and are just going to be standing around waiting for their turn on that, that they're not going to be paying attention to the other thing that's going on. I know we want to do the balloon, but I think it's going to detract from the rest of what we want that event to be. Feel free to argue with me. Where is it? Where's the behind, balloon? Behind the library? The balloon, right? It's a tethered balloon. It was scheduled. If we were going to do it that day, that night, it was going to be behind the, the library. Oh. I'll see you, yeah. Uh, you know, I guess we have the uh, airplanes Thanksgiving day. Of course, they take off from all the time anyway. Mm. Um, 
I don't know. It's it, it could also be a draw to get more people there to it. I don't know. Well, if they need to test it, I'll try. <laughs> and maybe it's a, it's a scheduling thing well, where you do the dedication at six or six thirty. We have the band playing, and then don't start the room lights till seven in the evening. Yeah, they they yeah, have was, to do it. There's something. Yeah, I mean, he he was he would prefer to do like a two hours. So I mean, it could be we could do the dedication first while there's nobody allowed to go up, so it's not a detraction. And then, and let them go. Okay. Yeah, I'm not opposed to it, but I just want to make sure that we're not competing with ourselves with that. Yeah, the dedication shouldn't take all that long. I don't think so either. And I'm just thinking that would help fill the rest of the yeah. night in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, people yeah. are going to love that. That is going to Have you ever done it? Anybody ever? No, I'm dying to. Yeah, we've, I've, we've done it. Yeah, I've been up before. Is it awesome? A couple dozen times out there. Yeah. I'm not moving to a it's, pretty, it's a fairly <laughs> slow process to the woods. Like how long does it take for turnover? I'm trying to figure well, out how long it takes. Well, you could do it in a minute and a half if you wanted to, but that's no, you don't want to do that quick. <laughs> We've, uh, we've had a situation with the time capsule for that night. Uh, the tech school, the last day of school is the 20th. And if we want to get the top welded on, we should probably do it before that. Ah. Well, John, we can have, we could potentially then have the items in the time capsule beforehand, but still have some type of a ceremony. I mean, that's something I guess we can discuss. Okay. Well, they, they've put the engraving on the top and if you'd like to uh, take a look and see what it looks like and you can let me share the screen for a minute. Yeah, bear, bear with me. Okay. Yeah, I Let's see if that works. Got it disabled. It should be. It if you make him a co host, then he'll be able to share. I don't want to move. It's see some of it. <laughs> you see the top half. That looks like a dumb inch scroll. Awesome. All right. Won't scroll, won't move. Oh, well, you can see that they've put the Waitley 250 and then down below it just says uh, June 20th, 2022, uh, Waitley 250th committee. They did a really nice, nice job on it. Nice. Okay, thank you. You can unshare me. I think you have to do that. Yeah, I did. Thank you. So I can share this. Um, I've been good at this. <laughs> do, yeah, do you want to fill a group in on the bench as long as we're talking about the The only thing I can just let everybody know is that it, it has been ordered. Um, probably looking at the beginning week, week of June that will get delivered. Um, at this point in time, the town will I'll see to it that it gets installed beforehand. And other than that, we can unveil, unveil it that night. Nice. It looks real. I saw the, the drive. The, like the, back, the back side that faces the parking lot, so as you drive into the parking lot, is going to say the one and only Waitley. And on the side that faces off to the east, which will be your backrest when you sit in, we'll have the logo that will, you know, the Waitley 250th with, on the left-hand side, it'll say 1771, and on the right-hand side, it'll say 2021. Awesome. Okay. Do we have anything else we have on the screen? No, the only thing that I can say about the panorama is Quan Quan is donating it. 
Allison is designing it, working with somebody to fabricate it, and then Barn Clock is going very generously. I assume Keith, that Allison will have to coordinate with you for installing anything that she needs. Yes. Yep. I am. So for that, for the library event, there is music. I have to look into food. Like I met with that the other day. I don't. I mean, Bates, do you think we need police? For what? The library event, just for traffic control, because. Be somebody on there. You were there. <laughs> yeah, for all these events during the week, I'll be on duty. Okay. Do we want to set up for souvenirs for that? Yes. Yes, yes. I think so. Good. Okay. Oops, if I can get there. Lisa. Does this look right? Yep. Mm -hmm. I know that you've got music. Who is your music? Um, Ruth. Jeremy or Leahy? I don't know. I think it's Leahy. Leahy. I'm going to put a question mark so we verify spelling and all that. What? Yeah, that's not spelled right, but I can't remember what happened. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I don't... Okay, keep me back from that. That's fine. No food. No food, no alcohol. No tickets. No tickets. Um, you have a sponsor. Do we? We don't. I don't think so. I don't think there is any. Yeah. We don't um, need porta potties. There's nothing. We will get a photographer. What do you need? Any way of volunteers? None. No. There's enough artists in my family. And they've <clears> recruited <throat> my boys. Okay. And do we want to do souvenirs? I don't think so. Next, Joyce, watermelon mm -hmm. Wednesday. Yep, I Ever filled in all the columns. Oh. We are still um, looking for an act that can be here Wednesday. We're optimistic about that still. Um, uh, we've got an act for Thursday uh, that's uh, booked and confirmed. Um, we uh, would like to do the early tickets for a nominal cost for Waitley residents at whatever places we can sell tickets and then uh, something like a week to maybe 10 days before the concerts, let tickets be available to anybody who's got an internet connection. Um, honestly, these concerts would sell out if Paul just put them on his watermelon website and 30 bucks a ticket, they would go. So I was thinking a nominal charge of $5 for residents is probably Good. I don't want people like getting tickets and then deciding not to go because we want to definitely fill the place up. But um, I think five dollars is not too much to charge uh, locals. And, I, and I, I think selling at the places that we're talking about, like historical society, town meeting, the um, Memorial Day. I mean, that, those are places where we all know each other. And if somebody says, oh, yeah, but my family's coming, so I need six tickets. I can believe that as opposed to trying to trying to confirm something like that on the internet <laughs> would be crazy. Um, and then sell market type market uh, tickets for the last say one week before the concert. I think we would sell those out as well. Awesome. How many, what's our cap of tickets for those events? Oh, it's of order a hundred. I think that's how I have to remember the exact capacity of the, um, town hall upstairs room. I thought Neil said he had 150 chairs. Can I make a request for this document? If it is a ticketed event, just put in the the number of tickets that should be. Mm. Okay. I, I think and price. I think Neil said there are 100 up to 150 seats for the upstairs room. That sounds about right. And then I think the fire department might say there's you can have no more than 200 in there, but I think I'd like to sell seats. Yeah. I would say it's posted on a wall there somewhere. Okay. Oh, damn, I got to go there and find out. Huh? No, I'm sure if I get in touch with Neil. We'll call Neil. Yeah, yeah, Neil. Okay, so you've 
So you're filling in your stuff if you add in number of tickets once you know and prices, because Ashley can run with that. For the barbecue, information correct? The barbecue dog? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. We were trying to figure out how many we were supposed to get a town hall. Um, the barbecue, I, oh, I, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to go back backwards for the library. If it rains, their rain location preference would be the tent by the fire station. Any issue with that? Because I'm not with should the, be, the should be okay. fine. Sorry. Sorry. Not unless somebody that. else is scheduled the tent that night. Uh, no. I don't, I don't, yeah, see don't have it. that. Okay, um, I just uh, I wanted to mention well, that because I, I met with Cindy in the front seat. Right, the front uh, bar barbecue. 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 All right. Barbecue. All right. Okay. With, uh, that answers the first question. Uh, is there, there will be a band at the barbecue. Joyce? Oh. Uh, we are still working on that. Our first band we wanted is not available that night. Um, our second choice is the milk bottles, and we, but I've got, I'm, that's not confirmed yet. So don't go. Like broadcasting this on TV or anything. Okay. Five to seven to nine. What is seven to nine at the fire station? I thought you were seven. having two seatings. One at five thirty and one at seven. Yeah. Right. Right. So what is seven to nine on that same column? Uh, that's that's. Could that be seven to eight thirty? Uh, I, what's happening we, at that time? We have to kick out the people at seven from the before seven from the five thirty crew. We're kicking out the seven o'clock people by nine o'clock. You tell me if it should be something different. Okay, I, I, my people are leaving to go to the fireworks. We have a big responsibility to the ah, fireworks. Okay, that's a. Good I, I will have people left at the fire station, but they should be gone. But I would think at eight thirty. Yeah, but the the. People, the spectators that came at eight at seven, don't have to leave. They, no, they, they don't have to leave. So but if could. we say seven to eight, we just have to yeah. make sure you have coverage left. I want to tell people when they have to go home. Though. They they don't necessarily have to go home. They can stay there and watch the fireworks. Keep the view there. Oh, okay, okay. Um, do not confirm this. Okay. okay. Yes, tickets required. Yes, and we don't know how much we're still. I heard on the news this morning the price of chicken is going to double for Fort Jones. Uh, so, and so here we go. Um, will be a police this? officer there because we're going to sell the alcohol. And I have a row of porta potties out back that are going to be left over from the polka pet. We have them for the week. There's six of them. I think it was a number. Yeah. Uh, Do you need volunteers outside your crew? No. Okay. I don't think so. And because this is before leading into the fireworks, I'm not sure I want to get involved with souvenirs there because we would then have to pack up the souvenirs and we're going to want to get into fireworks. Only have to put the table in the right place, you won't have to go anywhere to see the fireworks. I don't know. What's, I don't, you're not going to yeah, sell fire. I think you're not going to sell souvenirs at the fireworks. Okay. It's going to be dark. Okay. You don't want people at the They don't want people at the fireworks. Up at the library, no. Um, okay, so in fact, what should this say? Because right now, for the fire, watch the fireworks. Um, we don't want people going to the library. Yeah. Is that correct? I don't think the fireworks are going to start before 9 30. Yeah. It'll be dark. Just right. Dark. Yeah, that's basically <laughs> the longest day of the year. So, do we want to say 9 30? Just want dark. Dark. I'm just going to take that. 9.30, dark. <laughs> That's what they told me. That is a technical term. <laughs> That's what they told me. What yeah. is that? And instead of specifying the library, can we just say from around town? Because we want to encourage people to see it's visible it. from the library. Or, um, there's no, I would just say that there's no ground fireworks. It's all air. It's, it's all, all, it's all area. aerial yeah. display. Yeah. 
Well, they can obviously come in here. Yeah, we have. We still have to put barricades up to yeah. keep people out. But I mean, keep them away from the shooting area. But I'm sure there's people who are going to come to watch the fireworks or the library. I'm sure they are. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay, which brings me to, I assume we need police for traffic for there and for safety for there. Oh, fireworks, that... they're definitely at the cops there. Okay, that, I, I, I guess, I guess when I filled this in, but you all have to tell me. So Savini's been meeting up with like John and Keith and Wayne. We meet weekly every Sunday. Awesome. The fire department meets, week, meets yeah. weekly. For awesome. Police. And the police. And I haven't seen you yet. Chief. The chief, the chief of police. And, and, uh, <laughs> and what's the other one? Seamus. Seamus, Seamus is there too. <laughs> Seamus is going to go crazy from the fireworks. There, there'll be as many fire trucks, as many fire trucks there as will be police officers there that night. Ooh, okay. No porta potties because it'll be anywhere. No. It'll be anywhere. <laughs> it'll be dark. People yeah. do watch yeah. it. <laughs> we need to find a photographer. Who has a way of photographing the actual fireworks? Yeah. Um, is FCAT, pardon me, but I was told that FCAT wanted to film everything. I know that FCAT wants to film things. I don't know that they've committed to everything. That's not what I was told. I, I don't know. I, I, I literally don't. If you've been told. Is it Jonathan? Is that his name is? Help me out. Somebody help me out. Yes. Yes. Okay. He told that. me that he wanted to. Uh, Film everything. Awesome. From start to finish. So, uh, he, I just I, I sent him the unless things change. I've sent I sent him the calendar originally. Right. So and we and we will follow up as well. I'm looking to my my marketing group, we will follow up with them as we get as it gets finalized. Mm -hmm. um, but there's also a difference between filming things and photographing things. All right, there may be a food vendor at the fire station. He wanted, I got a call from a guy from North Hampton. Dave, is that his name? Yeah. One that was down across from Mark A. Miles? Uh, I'm not sure. His name is Dave. He sells, he goes up to Chester Mountain. But, yeah, I think that's the same one. I think. Yeah, he wants to do this at 9.30 at night? Do you think he's got a lot of customers? Uh, hey, after, I don't, I, I, I didn't invite him, Joyce. He okay. wanted to come to the fireworks. And I told just, him he, his best bet would be, be, be to go to the chicken barbecue and sell something like French fries or fried dough or something. And he probably may kill it. It's, but, the, it's the same guy. He has three trucks. I, I, Let me, his wife can, I, does. can I pose this question? Is there a place that we want to encourage people to go to see the fireworks? Like yeah. is the, is the, the lawn and the fire department, is that where we want it? Oh, they're, they're going to be right over your head. They're shooting right. for the fire station. Right, great spot. So, like, we could just, in terms of, like, the marketing, we can say, come here. And if there is, like, a food vendor selling fried dough, like, I could see that going over mm -hmm. pretty well. It's kind of like seeing the fireworks in Greenfield, right? They've got all the vendors. So. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, like I said, actually, they're all going to be aerial displays. So, um, <coughs> they setting these up originally. They didn't want to have uh, congregations of people. So, but because well, there'll, there'll be people there left over from the chicken barbecue yeah. anyway, right. and if we can encourage people to make that the gathering spot. So I'm like, there will be people that you yeah. know live further out that are going to need to come somewhere, so that right. might be a logical place. Yeah. And if there's food there, it's cool. How about the main people in the parking lot? I have a hundred spots reserved for, for cars here. It's just private mm -hmm. property. Yeah. Where are the fireworks actually going to be sent from? I thought that was Hurley Park. Am I the library right? behind the library? Oh, so okay. So you don't want people gathering, but people could gather at other places nearby. Anywhere. Uh, like, would um, the lawn at the center school be a good place to gather? Schools in a way, um, kind of. Yeah, that's not the best. Yeah, my lawn's better. <laughs> John's so Why wouldn't they go to the fire station and buy a beer? Fire station is probably going to be one of the best locations yeah, yeah. ever viewing. Well, sure, sure, but it may also get crowded. So I think we should have more than one location, kind of on the, on the map, so to speak. Would Hurley? Would people be able to see from Hurley Park? No. I was going to say, what about the, the Blue School on River Road? 
kind of a baseball field there. Yeah. It is Cast the base park. Yeah, that's <laughs> Cast the base park. Cast your house. That's it. Okay. We have time to figure that out, but let's keep that in mind. I want to keep things moving. And if, while you're thinking that out, we can turn the fireworks and be shot in any direction we want. I mean, that's just however they. Okay. Set their plump. I guess it's in March. What else? Uh, anything else on fireworks? Yeah, I know. Okay, family fun day. Okay. One to four, early band. Tom's is food vendor. We also have everything maple coming in, which is a fried dough um, vendor. Um, did anybody else come up with? Because there was discussion. Uh, Sarah, uh, Amy, Amy. Amy was working on one other. She, somebody else. She was. She was working with Gary. Okay. Okay. And all the other one that you just brought up, Dave, if he's interested, you know. There, there was a thought about an ice cream vendor with the snows. You've got five day of literally across the street. The question is, do they, do they want to compete with themselves? Fuck. Well, I mean, that's fine. I mean, that's fine. I, we don't have any uh, ice cream or whatever. The only, the only other food item, just, and I already told Amy this, was that. Part of Norris Farms contribution to the town of Waitley is they're donating an extremely large amount of strawberries for family day. Cups of strawberries. Can we have them in chocolate? Do you know, what, did, do you know what it was? Did they specify how much? I, no, no. I, I do not know, but they are also donating a door prize for the polka dance. And it just came in the mail today. So that's they a good one. They did say how many strawberries it was in my email. Let me look. Yeah, they said I'm 50 pounds. Yeah, that's good. Uh oh. Maybe we have to buy a raffle. Oh my God, maybe raffle. Put that back on my list. <laughs> If Dave's one is looking for a venue, the library was interested in having a food truck at their night. Do you have any contact info for Dave's? Amy, Amy, they talk to Amy. Okay. I, I do yeah, have contact. Yeah, that was Dino's. Oh, okay. Thanks. But they were interested in having something. Okay, let's keep going. No, uh, no, 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 no. Family fun day, no alcohol, no tickets. The state is the sponsor. Yes. I have a number for Dave's food truck. Oh, that came in. There's the contract. Down somewhere. No, I don't know where the last one was. Dave works. It yep. matters the hundred cups of strawberries. Uh, two, four, that was six. recommended, but they can make four, two, two four, more. Now that doesn't be doing it. I don't think it will be enough either. How many did you say? Two hundred cups. We gave up two hundred. Two hundred cups of ice cream. There you go. So we gave two hundred cups of ice cream. He's going to be at our event on the fourth and fifth. Okay. That's our list. Dave, food truck. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Okay, so he's got that because we can follow up with him for the library. Um, family fun day. We're assuming we need police for parking. Traffic control. Um, I need porta potties, probably. Porta potties, yes. Volunteers. The volunteers. There was high school sports, sports teams. Uh, we're going, trying to go for uh, the PTO. We're going to need uh, a lot of hands Ooh. on because we have a lot of. Uh, a lot of kids and a lot of different activities. So we need adults to guide what's going on. Um, uh, we've got people, especially like arts and crafts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, it's gonna need a lot of we need, supervision. We need a lot of, lot of hands. So as we get closer- and You don't have beer? 
Come on, we're gonna need it. <laughs> and Amy was gonna reach out to, I think his name's Chris Williams, who's the baseball coach, mm -hmm. and to see about yeah. getting people from the high school. Um, we're gonna need maybe some a, a, a decent handle on the number because we want to do get t-shirts for volunteers. Yeah, yeah. So we're that, gonna, and anyone who volunteers to, gets a t-shirt. We're gonna have to do that early, get the volunteers yes. signed yes. up early. Right, but that'll be your incentive says for high school kids. So to do it, yeah, exactly. Get a t-shirt. Yeah, that yeah. might be something you want to check in I knew quick because there's one of a different event that I go to. You always get t-shirts. You can't get them this year. Supply chain issues. Oh my lord! I know, and I've heard these similar effects. Okay. You could do the name tags on the mm -hmm. vineyards if you had to. Yeah, the shirts are nicer. Yeah. Right, but I'm saying if you can't, yeah, if we can, yeah. 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 I know we're getting some t-shirts for this. When we get to it, John will give his report. Okay. Right. I shouldn't say we can't get them, get them, but very, very limited. Local the Historical it. Society yeah. just purchased a big amount from Pacific Printing. Yeah, okay. yeah I'm thinking they go through Pacific Printing and they get, yeah. get what we need. Okay. Anything so you else on that? Yeah. Well, we don't have a photographer per se. Um, we. You don't need to get your own photographer. There will be a photographer okay. over here. Okay, for, because I think that's everything. We've got a lot, a lot, a lot planned, a lot of free stuff coming. Nice. Um, uh, besides the you know, stuff we're paying for, but you know, activities. We, we, we just need you to spend $10,000. Well, oh, we'll spend. <laughs> All right, now you need the invoices prior to the event. Uh, that day is okay. Right. At we day, have to submit right. them by June 30th. But if you need, you need money for deposits for anyone, yeah, let okay. me know. If someone wants to be prepaid, but just let me know. He's got a checkbook. I, but I will just need documentation from wherever, wherever I write a check to. Okay, moving on to the parade. <coughs> um, is there anything else we have? No, we're good. The parade. Are we done? My turn? Yeah. Yes. All right. I'm going across. Sunday, June 26th. Yes. It starts at noontime at the church. It's going to go to uh, Christian Long Plain Road. Yes. Um, there will be bands in the parade. Uh, there will be, the church is having a, what is that? Why is Joyce talk? I need to Joyce. Food vendors, the, the church is coffee and donuts on the front lawn. Something, something to go with coffee. Yeah. And um, I've told the food vendors that they could come and it would probably set one at the fire station. And if there's any more, we'll spread them out there through, throughout the parade. Uh, we're not selling alcohol. There's no tickets. Uh, the cost is like still wide open. I still hire. I'll, I'll hire a band tomorrow if I can. Um, Do you have a ballpark? Any idea at this point? Because um, we know what the original budget was. Oh, I'm nowhere near that. That's How's that? Was, that was my suspicion. <laughs> but, but how's that? I. If at some point you can just fire some figures to me of what you you know you've we, committed to. Well, okay. Well, here's the big. Let me tell you what the biggest problem I'm having is arguing. With, I'm not arguing with anybody. I'm trying to hire tractor trailers to pull bands in a parade, but nobody will do it because of the insurance. They can't get insurance to cover if something happens. So I I have uh, Eddie Foreman and I have 80 HD hired, which is Three thousand dollars. I can't find a I can't find a trailer for them. So there you go. This is and it's like oh, we're, I'm working on it. We're okay. still, we are working on it. Okay. Um. Would, John, talk to me. Tom and Henry may have some some suppliers, some people he knows too. 
Did you hear Sarah? Sarah said, talk to me. Talk to me, John. Tom Henry okay. may have some people. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but if, if we the, get the this. issue, the issue is like with the, like a trucking company, mm -hmm. their liability insurance through their, their vehicle coverage, yeah. if someone is riding on the back and falls off, or if someone Some is throwing candy out and right. gets run over by then running out for candy or something like that, that is where the issues come into play. And we're finding that a lot of these trucking companies, their insurance says you can't do that. So we're still working on it, but I can also ask if our rider would cover that through right. the time. I'll ask Brian. And then talk to Sarah because she sounds like she's got a right? Okay. I only know one of those. <laughs> and now we well, well, would any of the people who have tractors in the tractor parade are those is that equipment heavy enough to well the tractors are yes. Uh if the tra if the trailer yeah, is big size trailer, no. yeah, it's we're working on it. Wayne can probably pull a tractor trailer with one of his tractors. The problem is he's gonna be doing something else in the parade. Well, I know. I'm not sure what, but he will be doing something. So, Okay, you are you are working on it. Let's keep oh, yes. keep things moving. We need police, porta potty. They will be wherever they were. Oh, they'll be back at the fire station. Okay, so you will have the. Or we may put some at the end of the parade. Maybe some maybe some at the beginning of the parade for that. That's a full time job, Trucky. Then we're out. Yes, it is. <laughs> Do you need Carson's door? Yes. Are we going to have a grand marshal? Mm -hmm. Has anybody thought about that? The oldest citizen in Wakeley? Oh, they'll be in a prayer. They'll be in a prayer. Who is it? Walter Moore. All right. And are we going to put them in the prayer play? Yeah, we're going to make them all. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, my grandfather was this, Grand Marshal last time. Wow, nice. Okay, do you need volunteers other than your crew? We may need some to park cars. And then the other people. Where are we having people park cars? Yeah, I was just gonna say where? where? Yeah. Oh, we, we just we just found the lots. We just located the lots yesterday. So okay. Um so it works still, yeah. Yeah, it's that's fine. I mean we I just I wasn't sure if it's for example, like at the fire station, we have that lot. We have it at the highway garage. Um and, and you know, it, our backyard. Ashley, you know, your backyard. Um, the biggest problem that we see is if we get a week of rain, yeah. we, the, all the parking has to be on blacktop. Right. right. So we, can, we, we really. We can always amend the wording, but I do want to make sure that whatever we put out there is very clear. Like, park by this time, <laughs> go to these places. So. I have Quan Quan. Right. There's 80 there's 80 spots there. I have Yankee Candle, there's 100 spots there. Um the Quan Quan will be nice and muddy after a week of rain. No, they wouldn't get a week of rain. They have, they have, they have, they have a, a, a big parking lot. Yeah, it's gravel. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah, well, they, they do it for weddings. So I have the Whaley Inn, I have the library, uh, the center school. You know, and those are the lots that we have to start with. And then when we get determined whether there's not going to be a week of rain or it doesn't rain that day, then would you want me? No. Just I asked for it, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we'll be working with the, you know, the message boards and potentially even bringing in some additional message boards from neighboring towns to help us with getting the information to the, to the public that's coming in from out of town. Okay. We're right. also in, looking into inquiring on getting the, the I think it was either a, like an FM station or an AM station so that they, when the people come and they read on the message board, they can it'll say tune tune to station 580, and then it'll oh, cool. give them the information. You can park at this location, this location, and it'll help the general public coming in. That's right. awesome. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, did you want to also talk about t-shirts or something about when was your turn? I can. Uh, that's that has nothing to do with the parade, but. Oh, well, I, 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 okay. I, I, <laughs> the floor. He's way down in the parade part is way down in the alphabet. So, um, it's been brought to my attention by numerous people that we should have this committee should sponsor to sell t shirts. 
No. So I went to Pacific Bank because they're the guy I, I work with um, to buy T-shirts. Uh, we can have whatever articles we want. We can have T-shirts, we can have sweatshirts, we can have hats, whatever we decide we want. We can put on them whatever we want, what they want. Um, for example, and they, they set up an online store, okay? The order, and if we're gonna go with T-shirts and that's it, we're responsible to buy 72 t-shirts at $15 a piece because that's what they're going to sell. For. Um, and wh what do we want for artwork? I mean, these are all the numbers we got to do. Somebody has to come up with so they can put on how long they're going to keep this, this store open because they don't make any of this product until the store is closed. They may sell, we may sell 100 t-shirts and then if it closes June 1st, then this, that's when the they need two weeks or ten, I don't, exactly, I don't know what they said, how many days they need to, to, to make the, that product. So, and then they will get them out to the people. Did they ship them out? No, no. We, we hand them out. We, we, they would, people would be, told, would be told when and where to pick them out. And we could do that at one of our events. We could set up a special time, you know, transfer day, you know, Saturday morning at the top. I'll never call it anything like this. But, uh, we can set up in front of the highway garage on a Saturday morning, and, uh, you know, from 8 to 10 or something like that. And that's how they get their t-shirts. Okay. Um, what if we wanted to buy in bulk and sell them on the spot? You can do that. They'd be happy to entertain that. You have an interview for it. And, that, that and do you have the right size? No, I, I realize that's that. What, I that's guess what, I, what I'm asking, and you may not know the answer, is it's still $15. No. You could probably buy them for 9 or $10. Okay. But I'm wondering that's, the same thing, like would people pre-buy to then pick them up at a specific time? And some people might, but I, the, the idea of having them physically there as, as, as a souvenir more. table, I think, is more appealing. Yeah. 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 Oh, I agree. But you have an inventory. Right. What's your inventory in your garage now? <laughs> Look at this. Nothing. 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 Kids and family day are going to want to buy t-shirts. And work and working, you know, working in t-shirts. They generally have an idea of what the spread should be in sizes. You know, they have, you know, if you've got pumpkin people, they know how many large and how many, you know, they're not going to come out perfect, but they have a they have a good guess as, as to what the breakdown is. Yeah. That is and if, just as an example that warmed it all. Central Mass Gasking Association. And I believe we buy four or 500 t-shirts typically yearly. You get to the point you can't give away a kid's shirt, the little shirts. Yeah. Right, oh yeah. And, well, and the same with the, the big ones, you know, with 3X, 4X kind of stuff. No, I know that's the problem with the kids with this, that we're going to need them for family day, but after family day, they're gonna be left over. We end up using them for prizes. And they can always go to the <laughs> But that would, if we're going to consider that, then that puts a lot more burden on the souvenir community, whoever's going to do that, because right. it puts a huge burden in my mind on someone having to have cases of these shirts, all the different and sizes, drag them around. and drag them all around. And, all and they're not going to go in a little compact car. You're going to need a heavy, you're going to need. A pickup truck or something like that. Trailer with a cover on it. Whereas you having this, um, Pacific just do it online. Oh, I think in general that doing online is much more efficient and much better. But I do think that at some events we're going to need to have inventory to sell. People are going to. You can do both. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah and that's and if what we I'm sell saying. out, people can place an order. So no, no, not necessarily. After the fact, they would, could, it would be the same. They'd have, to, they'd have to order, they'd have to open the store again. Yeah. Because okay. they have to close the store before they put up. Uh, okay. 
right, right. Okay. But if we find they have a lot more demand than you great provide, they could open a store again. Yeah, or we could reopen the store, you know, like June 1st. You know, if, if, if we close it June 1st, gives them 10 days or two weeks, and then it'd be available for us to sell, uh, to hand out for the event. But then there's that many that you could reopen it, I guess. Look, my, my personal view is we've got enough money going that being spent on the, this whole thing. If we have to put $1,000 into inventory of t shirts so that we have something to sell, that's just and we end up with t-shirts left that just the way it, the way it goes but i think it's worth an investment or just an expenditure of money and hope to get something back i mean we're spending so you know, thousands of dollars on bands and parades and all the rest we can spend a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars to have a souvenir that people will want maybe we should put this to a vote okay. oh, it's got to go there what should what are we voting that's what i'm, I'm trying to find I think you need to talk to the souvenir committee. Yeah, who's, so who's going to manage we, this? We, 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 we can't just do it if no one's going to take on the, the right. sales. Okay, right. so before we do anything, Chris, what are your thoughts on this? Well, um, I like the online idea for pre sales, um, or I should say pre event sales, and then um, uh, strategically identifying um, particular events where the t-shirts are sold. So, you know, to the idea that it is a lot to schlep them around. Um, but also I think, um, not sure how to explain it to get the idea across, but um, we could actually create momentum towards certain events if the t-shirts are only gonna be sold at those events, if they're popular enough. Um, anyway, just uh, instead of having the t-shirts available everywhere and anywhere, um, we may actually sell more if, um, if they're kind of a, I don't know, a, a, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, an exclusive thing where it's only at certain events yeah. if if that makes any sense because i realize t-shirts have become so ubiquitous um but something like this is could be seen as more of a specialty product and we could have it at just specific events and and let people know that ahead of time or have it on social media ahead of time that's an interesting idea. And the two events that come to mind first for me are the muster and family day, both of which are at Hurley. Is there somewhere at Hurley that we could keep them for the week so that we're not trucking them around town? No. Okay. Maybe ask Mary Five Day, does she have a store at Hurley with a good store? It's right across the street. It's full of candles. <laughs> My car the is. The t-shirts will smell good. I, yeah. I went to take out the trash the other day and it was so floral in the garage. <laughs> I mean, we're down, I'm down, not close, but I'm right down the road and we certainly have space that we can store things. But we're still like two miles from Berlin. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to vote on? I think we've got two votes. Trying to think how, how to phrase this. Do we vote on having an online store? Do we vote on having a physical like inventory? inventory? They are not mutually exclusive. This may be like a fatality as we do it, because we need to. So let's vote first on having an online store. And again, these are not mutually exclusive. No. Is the souvenir committee willing to sell these? I'm not selling them. That's uh, understood. Just saying. When, when we have a souvenir committee, I'm sure they well, will. We, we have Chris. Chris is <laughs> adding this up, and we were going to try and get some volunteers to work with her. Ashley said we could store them in her house, but I think <laughs> Chris, your vote matters more than anybody else's. You had indicated, I don't want to put words in your mouth. 
So I'm going to have you vote first. You voting on the online store and voting on the physical inventory. Maybe that's the way to do it. Is everybody votes twice okay. at the same time? Does that work? Yeah, I I think um, pre-event online sales is a great idea. So I would vote yes to that. So I guess I'm qualifying my vote. I think it would be a lot to wrangle to just keep it open during the event and have people ordering during the event and then trying to coordinate with, I mean, especially if they want their t-shirt right away. Does well, that make sense? I think also, Chris, that that works in terms of um, the scarcity idea where like you can pre-order these and make sure you're going to get a t-shirt or you can chance that like we'll have some for sale. We have to close, actually, we have to close the store well, right, we do so it ahead many of days time. before the, the event. Right. So right. But we give like a window saying if you can order these before, I don't I don't know how long it takes them to produce. Oh, yeah, I, I, it's, it's less than two weeks. Yeah. So if we say like June 1st, right. like get your orders in by June 1st, you know, otherwise we'll have some select sizes like for sale at the events, but like really push people to order ahead online. And then they could, you know, we have a, a meetup point to pick those up at whenever they're real, available. But how are they trucking the other souvenirs around? <laughs> the back of my car, the back of my daughter's car. Um, <laughs> I have a sedan with a nice big trunk. I don't know. Both she and I have an SUV. <laughs> Or we or we rent a, a new hall for the day. And one other one other thing that's nice about the pre-order is that they can order what they want. Whereas if, if we're order gonna when we go to order t-shirt, it's gonna be just a short sleeve t-shirt. Whereas someone can order a hoodie, someone can order a long sleeve shirt, whatever they want. That's what can be done with the online store. So it's a lot more than just a t-shirt. And there's no way in my mind that we can have that kind of extensive oh, no. inventory yeah. with no, just t-shirts. Yeah, so that's that another advantage to the online side of it is they can order whatever they want. Mm -hmm. That's isn't that correct? He'll set it up. I would hope so. Okay, that's how I un yeah, understood. I, I don't I don't see a downside to the online store. The question I think the, the real question is do we produce some for inventory? For sale at events, I think that, but the online store, I don't see any problems with. Yeah, pre-ordering. That uh, awesome. Right. Uh, all, the only problem is delivering or getting pickup. Yeah, and, and I think yeah, that, that we can of, arrange. So you have to come to the highway department, you know, Saturday between ten and noon, or somewhere you know, some other day. Put it on here. You know, um, or everyone lines up at our garage. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now we don't have to transfer it then. Right. My or, or your garage. <laughs> I do have a sprinkler garage. Yours, your place will work just better than that. Yeah, yeah. 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 you drive around the window and they keep going. Yeah. 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 I have like a cannon actually. Yeah. 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 Like shirt, shirt, cannon. Okay, so let's vote first on the online. Let's do that separately. So let's start. Let's see, Chris, you already voted yes for the online. Yeah, and are we so when you say online sales, are we saying that's only pre-sales? So like prior sales. to a date in yeah. June. Okay. Yes. To be picked up, and we can even have an idea. I looked at Ashley and Lisa for this a town meeting and the historical society. We can have a flyer for if there's a flyer, yeah. Submit your order. I, and pick it up like in like Ashley's driveway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that we get the orders ahead and could close the shop in advance. Mm -hmm. I also think if we're going to have them available in person, we may want to wait and see what we get in advance orders to help us decide what we need to order. That's going to give us a very short window to get. Yeah. Yeah. But, but they but they have to produce them anyway. Yeah, so but they could do it early. They got to order them too. They got to order them. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, to get them. okay. Let's I keep going with the, the online store, Jane. Sorry. You said I. Yeah. 
Okay, Jersey, yes, if you can keep track. Uh, Bill? Yeah. Zach? Yep. Sarah? Yes. In this case, I'm going to do it in person just to make sure we get everybody. Ashley? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. 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 Online is unanimous. Yes. Okay, so online is unanimous. Now, given that we are going to have online, who all thinks we also should have an inventory and selling at critical events? I'm, I'm, I'm certain, probably just t-shirts. Yeah, just t-shirts. Okay. And, um, and you're going to want those for the, the volunteers. So yeah, but that's, 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 that's 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 probably be a separate color for volunteers. Oh, distinct okay. colors for right. volunteers. Okay. All right. I'm not telling anybody what the free. I was about to ask, what is your color so that we I'm not know, it. but then how do we make sure that you have a unique color? I, do, like I have color? a unique color. <laughs> it's electric green. Okay, well. <laughs> I just I want, want to make sure, sure want to, <laughs> I want to make sure we're not doing the same thing. Okay. <laughs> Who <laughs> wants to have an inventory and sell them a key you event? Let's green. start. Ashley? Yes. Lisa mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sure, sure. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Sure. I yes. didn't get your vote on anything. Okay, I'll vote twice. Yes, yes. Okay, fine. <laughs> Sarah? Yes. Zach? Bill? Oh. Jane? And Chris, you're the one who has to pull this off. Yes. With help, with help except right. for Vulcan, because I have to go to my Mises Well, and I and I will work with you on whatever financial. I'm effort. wondering to help fit her out as far as the management. You know, maybe she, you could split up the shirts to the different events, so she's not dragging them all around. That each event is going to take a certain portion of it and be responsible. It all depends on how many we're talking. Yeah, about. it depends on how many we're talking about. I don't. We're, I don't think we're going to be selling you know, them at that many events anyway. Okay. Well, we'll have to figure that all right. out. Yes. One thing I, I have a text into Jim about using the police department's trailer. If we could put everything in a trailer, the only issue that I can see with this is if he's got firearms training during that time. Okay. We can, we can sell the firearms. <laughs> <laughs> so. That would be awesome. I'm opposed to selling <laughs> firearms for the 250th. Okay, I'm get a get it. <laughs> so, depending on what he has to say, I'll get back to you guys about it. But that way, there you can put everything into the trailer and then just, and then take just it places. hard to somewhere you need to. Yeah, that, would be, that, that would be amazing. That gives me back my garage. It's really I don't know if it all can. We can't put glass in it. This is just t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> it is so floral in my garage. But this trailer is small enough where you can haul it with your, your SUVs. Okay, that would be great. That would be fantastic. So hopefully, yeah. he'll get back to me soon. Okay, let us know. That would be great. Okay, anything else on souvenirs? Is there anything else we want to be selling? I've got had one other thought on souvenirs, and that is if we're going to be selling candles, glass, and t shirts, cheaters, we should probably get printed up some smallish bag with the logo. Because if someone's at an event, they're not going to just going to be carrying around. Do they have to have a logo? Not necessarily. No, I mean, are there any sponsors who want to um, contribute uh, reusable bags that we could for that? I just think we need some sort of bag yeah, to put yeah. things in when we sell it. Maybe candles have You might, yeah, you might find there's already like a bank or something that may already have something with their their logo. They're willing to give. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yep. Okay. That's, well, that's, 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 that's a good. That's a good thought. Let's think about about where we can get this. Okay, I want to keep things moving. We're running long. Uh, infrastructure and Board of Health. Keith. I met with the uh, Board of Health on Tuesday, um, just to give a real quick recap of that. Um, I told them that when it comes to the 
trash disposable and recycling efforts that I would prefer they provide uh, a volunteer to go along with it so that they can ensure that a better um, efficiency or a better rate as far as you know getting all the recyclables into the right bins. So they agreed to provide somebody to like the chicken barbecue and probably at the polka. Um, I will be po well, the town will be picking up totes from the Franklin County um, Solid Waste Committee. They have totes that we can use so we'll have additional recycling bins to be used at these different locations. Um, as far as food permits go, any vendor that has like a food truck, they'll need to provide their certificate of insurance from where they're registered in the town they're, they're, they operate out of, and that'll be suffice. If a, um, a food vendor such as Tom's Hot Dog Stand when they come to the fire station and set up, they are all set also because they are presently covered already through the town of Waitley. The only other one that will need to be um, run through the Board of Health would be if we have individuals that want to somehow, and I'll make an example, if I wanted to, to come and sell hamburgers at an event myself, I would need to pull a permit with the Board of Health for that. So um, those were the, that's the basics as far as the Board of Health goes. Um, I don't think there was anything else. Okay. <clears throat> Time capsule. Time capsule committee came up with a list of things we want to put in the time capsule. A 250 mask, one of the little smoke bottles, one of the empty candle candles, assuming they will fit, that's a question of space. We've asked the town to generate a list of farms and businesses in town because we thought it would be interesting 50 years from now to uncover who was here. A, similarly, a list of um, people and their addresses, and the residents and their addresses. Like a street list? Yeah. yeah. And Don, and Don, are you still on? You may have lost Don. He was saying there may be things that he can do of mapping some of this to show what was where, so Don was working with that. Menus from Tom's, the diner, muffins, Wrigley Inn, and 5J. Um, this library is giving us a list of the most popular books for the year. Keith has met with the school and the, le and the children are writing letters to their adult selves. Um, we talked about something on climate info. I don't know where you know if that's something we'll be able to pull off. Um, possibly class pictures from the school. Uh, apparently, the, the milk bottle song for 1093, we're always going to get the lyrics and the music for that. We we're also compiling a list of places in town that we want to photograph, probably limited to like 30. We don't have a ton of photographs in here, but what the town looked like then, and I'll go back to that in a minute. Don was getting a photo of the student who built the time capsule box. We thought that would be nice. Um, and then a, pro a copy of the program of events for the 250th, and depending on when you seal it, some souvenirs from the 250th. Not, souvenir, not the same kind of souvenirs you're talking about, but like pictures and things. Photos for the time capsule. Here is sort of the working list as of now, if everybody can see it from somewhere. Uh, town hall, both outside and inside the church, post office library, do a panorama view behind the library and also um, possibly getting drone pictures of just overviews of the town. The cemetery towards the triangle, because we, you know, the triangle configuration could possibly change in 15 years, so it would be interesting to see that. Wade Ian, I guess we we'll Chapel, Columbus, Muffins, Collins Diner, Transfer Station, Fire Station, Police Station, Highway Garage, Town Offices, 5J, Elementary School, the Blue School, Center School, Blue Bottle, Hurley, um, McLeish, 
Look at the reservoirs, the yellow barn by the cemetery, the pound and the stockade. We're trying to think of, we don't want to, we can't do every business in town. So we're trying to do businesses that are retail, things like I'm going to pick up muffins. What, what about um, the, the field in East Wakely? The agriculture, you know. That's something I would hope we could do from drones is get the you know, drones. Or Mount Shibbles. Or Mount Shibbles, you know, something. Because you see a lot of these and not a lot is out of East Wakely because there's a lot of farm, you know. So we want them represented too in the time capsule. Yeah, so I say North Farm, their area would be very interesting because oh, they've been yeah. making so many yeah. changes in mm -hmm. how they're farming. Yeah. So this would be interesting to see what, what they're like doing over the years. Yeah. Okay. You should see what it looks like when you go over in a higher bowl. Yeah. And I think that would be a nice representation yeah. of the agriculture. Yeah. The problem with the drone is they can only go to 400 feet. Yeah. No, it's just that's the right solution. Okay. If you take a picture of our one lane bridge and see if it changed it. <laughs> <laughs> that should be another thing that wouldn't hurt to be in there because the way it looks now will not be the way it looks like in 50 years. At least we, we, we hope, hope, like, hope we right? an article from the newspaper about it. Do you have a newspaper on the list? Yeah, we should. <coughs> I oh, think from most, what date? I don't care. I'm, I'm being told that in 50 years, nobody will have a newspaper. Uh, so yeah. they should see a newspaper as of right. 2001. It, it would be good to get some editions of possible that have stories about. To, uh, today, wasn't it today's paper that talked about our 250th? Did it? They run the- Oh, oh yeah, big article. I haven't seen that. Yeah. That was in the reporter. So probably, if we get the Gazette, it'll probably be in the Gazette. Um, which reminds me two things. One, I did an interview with Chris Larrabee for the article. I didn't know it ran. Uh, so usually Sylvia brings it over and Sylvia. I was just she doesn't buy the paper. I get the, we get the Gazette, so we'll get it. And you always get it a day later than the recording. Right. right. And our next door neighbor is Sylvia. And Sylvia and I usually brings it over when there's something in the recorder. But yeah. obviously Sylvia's not going anywhere these days. Um, yes. I haven't been to too many of the meetings at all lately. Um, I know I brought it up a long time ago when I talked about the time capsule. A lot of these things going in at our, our paper, how are, how are you keeping them legible in a hundred years? The, if I, as I understand, I wish Don was still on the call. As I understand it, the box is absolutely sealed. It is uh, so no moisture can get in it. It is then pumped with air. Our gun. It's okay. That's okay. As long as they're doing something. They're pumped. Uh, we need that. It's, it's, yeah. it's pumped with something to like raise the pressure in it. Um, we're going to try and use archival paper whenever we can. A newspaper we can't, but like photographs we can use archival paper. And we're putting in. So the problem is that these have some Yeah, that's, that's the one I was looking for. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we're at least we're, and, Don and Don unless Don it's very moist, paper should last 50 years. You know? Now, the photographs may fade, but without it's sunlight, bad. it shouldn't be too bad. Um, it's, it's, mostly it's the condensation, being you know, hot, cold, creates moisture in it. Right, and I know that the Don, Don and Keith yeah. were working on solutions for that. I, I, you're asking the wrong person. Um, but they, they are addressing I, I, I will wait here. wasn't listening to the full <laughs> list. Copies of the scoop. Oh, the scoop. scoop. I have multiple copies from Oh, that's a good idea. I don't know. Oh, actually, this is on the wrong list. I'll transfer it in. Um, that's a great one. Uh, Okay, the other thing that I forgot to mention when we were talking about the library event, I have sent, I'm going to call them Save the Dates, to Baker, McGovern, Ryan, Markey, Rutherford, and Blaze, uh, so that all of the political, you know, the government people 
I don't know if any of them will come, but the event that I have invited them to, some of them you have to do it on the website and you don't want to pick one again. I think it's a library dedication because that's a place where if people wanted to give a two minute speech, they could. It felt, it just felt right for that, but I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know we're recording, I'm sorry, but. I deliberately did not invite people who are running for office. Um, candidates for the governor or governor or lieutenant governor, because I do not want this to be a campaign event. This is more who are our politician and expect them to talk for less than two minutes. I don't know if they're even gonna come. I mean for some of them it would I don't think the governor knows what we do. Yeah, acknowledging that there is anything less of less stuff. and yes I know I'm saying that publicly. Please hear me when I say that publicly. So I just wanted to mention to people that if, if they show up, it would be great. Uh, but nobody has followed up on that. So I don't know if they're going to Okay, back to, if you have other thoughts of photos, we want to limit it, but we want to make sure we have all the good stuff. So if you have thoughts on photos or contents for the time capsule, let me know. We've talked about the town field ticketing, photography. Actually, photography, people were going to reach out to photographers that they knew. Does anybody have anything to update on that other than? Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> and Lola Just taking gave, pictures of everything. <laughs> <laughs> and Lola gave me, what is this? Brianna, somebody, uh, who I will follow up on. I also, um, who am I doing? Ellen, Ellen Skrosky offered to do some. She is beautiful. And gave me two other names, Barbara Walker and Kelly McCready, that I need to follow up with. So we might be okay, but if we can get more, that's better. I think with everybody with their cell phone cameras and stuff like that, you get a lot. Yeah, you know, I, you we'll get a lot, but I think we need to make sure that yeah. everything is covered. Well, yeah, right. But we'll also get, you know, probably some really neat, uh, what do you call them? Photos. Candid. Candid, yeah. yeah. Because after this is all said and done and everybody else is bleeding deep, Lisa and I are going to be putting together a commemorative book coming out of this with pictures. I also want to make sure that we get pictures, and I'm putting this on a review. We get pictures of the people who are working on an event. So, John, if you can make sure there's a picture of the fireman face, if you can make sure you're for so that we had with the names on it, so that we have for the record who, and that goes, that goes for everybody. If you're working with other people on something, the family day people, we should have pictures <coughs> in this book of. Um, that we should also get a picture at some point of all of us. So we are the steering committee for this. The quilt people. The quilt people, yeah. The quilt is going to be put on display at the art show along with the quilt from 50 years ago. The quilt has been completed, and I forget if either Teresa or Jennifer have it right now, but we have to coordinate and make sure you end up with both of them. Adelia, do you have access to the 50 year old quilt? I have not even thought of that. Why not? I, I hope it's still in town. Okay. Could you check on that? I don't know. Like, I'm assuming that the Historical Society would be the place that would have that. I don't know that for sure. Someone, I had the feeling that that um, the girl who sold Gertie's house had it. I, we looked well, for it and we that? found it. Yes, and I, 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 don't, I don't think you, I've been in touch with her. If you guys can't, if you can't find it, let me know because she's she's still on the distribution list for the agenda for these meetings, and she was asking for this, an update on the course. I don't think she would have left town. With this. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't. I'm not saying that, but I'm I'm saying we looked for it, and she's we in California. Through, we went. Oh, she's she's in Florida. We went through a lot of boxes yeah. and everything. Pensacola, Pensacola, Florida. Florida. Pensacola, Florida. The girl who bought Gertie's house now.
Coast of California. She came from California. And she was here some, yesterday afternoon because she goes to town. She has a house in California. <laughs> <laughs> We're not saying you're wrong. We're just sharing the information we have. Okay, so Dave, if you could just look into that and see if anybody knows it's where it about. It may be in one of those 55 boxes over. That's what I'm saying. If it if it if it went in the quilt, I don't think it did, but um the historical society is paying the five colleges for storage because we don't have you know everybody thinks we got moved into the town hall and we have all this wonderful space. But we lost the library space and we are hurting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it could be in one of those boxes over there at this point. At, at the five if we, colleges. That if it's there, we aren't getting it out. Right. If we can't find it, I mean, we, we want to display the new one, which is gorgeous. So we'll do what we can. look for it. Anybody have any other businesses? Yes. I did hear back from the chief, and he said the trailer is yours. <gasps> Wonderful. The only issue is that it's not very tall, so you can't stand up in it. For people only. <laughs> so just something to keep in mind. <laughs> we'll put Jackie on. And yeah, you should have it attached to a vehicle before you jump in and out of it. Okay. If not, you'll be in for rude awakening. <laughs> Slides out the back door. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll we'll figure that out. But it's got a lock on it, or you guys can put your own lock on it. It's waterproof, so it's great. That is yeah, awesome. This might be easier that way they don't have to store it in people's houses. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Unless you really wanted everything. I mean, to <laughs> drive, right? it is available if necessary. You can park the trailer there. We can park the trailer. <laughs> yeah, my husband would love that. <laughs> I want to see the look from the faces of neighbors when the police trailer is parked in somebody's driveway. Yeah, it would probably be the safest house for a while. <laughs> she can get to the cycle and then she can down. What? I don't know. <laughs> Change is likely. Yes, sir. Yeah. When you got all the stuff in the trailer, do you need a place to store it? Well, that's all. <clears throat> do you have a place? I said we could probably park it in your place. I'll probably could do that. Um, you can keep it at the police station. We got video camera bar. Yeah. 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 Police station. Yeah. Okay. Kirst just texted me what did she say? Oh, just that she had to park. Okay. Um. Just if somebody when they need it, like I don't know when it would be available, but I'm sure you guys will probably start loading it up before events start taking place. Yeah. Or we could stage, we could stage stuff like at someone's house too. Yeah. And then load it up. I mean, I can store it in there. I'll we'll store it in the in the park. Thank you. Just a Anything else? Yeah. We'll return. Our lovely printed. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Hold on, hold on. I have to go for that. No. I don't know. It wasn't the one I wanted. It's a PNG, so it's sort of. Yeah, I have to figure out how to use this. Go down. No, 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 go to the folder on the bottom. Older? Yeah. But it's not saved on this computer. Oh, it's not saved on that. I'm trying to get to my email. And that's so this well, one. Go to the envelope. Save you just file. stop sharing and least sharing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to stop sharing. But now, if I go to here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes, 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 yes. There it is. Okay, now, but how do I share it? That's right. Where do Share. I needed the people on the screen. Um, okay, you want to talk about this, Lisa? No, go ahead. I mean, it's just, we thought it'd be nice to have a, a one document that had all the events laid out more gra graphically in a calendar type of thing than a list that's hard to follow. So I just drafted this. Looks good. Um, obviously, after tonight, there's changes to make. But, um, and then we have, you know, it'll go with this, will go in the scoop. This can go out on social media, um, but around town. town, all over town, right? And we can out of town meeting. It could be two sided too. We could put things on the other, on the back side if we're handing them out. So. It was just a thought I had to. Yeah, nice. Looks nice. Oh, very nice. 
And this way, like on Saturday, you're going to see, oh, there's a track parade. Oh, and then the steam engine shows at the same time. Like, so everything is kind of all consolidated. Has this gone to print yet? Because the there's no way the fireworks are happening at 8.45 p.m. That's way too early. And we will be updating all of those based on what we agreed to tonight. Yeah. This is a draft. Yeah. But we wanted to just you to see um, what, we, what we're thinking. I think this will be fabulous to get your feedback. I'm sorry? If we could meet that Peter Thomas thing, I think it's more yes. important than Juneteenth, but the Juneteenth will be acknowledged, but um, there is a uh, lecture by Peter Thomas. There's the, it says Historical Society. Yeah, it's just seven o'clock. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at only the top line. <laughs> <laughs> That's we have, I have lines between each of them. You do, you do, you do. I just, I didn't even get down to fireman's okay. mustard. <laughs> Maybe we should change Juneteenth celebration to Juneteenth acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. Yeah. yeah, it's not going to be this. We're not celebrating the whole It's just an acknowledgement. Okay. It will be acknowledged. Okay. Other comments? Next meeting. Next meeting. Next meeting. Next meeting. Next meeting is in two weeks, not a month. If you remember last time we decided <laughs> to go to every two weeks so that we don't have to have these marathon meetings and we can look through things much quicker. So it'll be the same thing where we will be here with the Zoom connection. Um, and hopefully it will not go two hours. We will make every effort. At seven? At seven. What day? Um, Monday, April 25th. So that's two weeks from today. At seven? At seven. And we've got, we've got this room and the Zoom link for that meeting. Anything else? No. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Do I hear a second? Second. We don't have to vote on that, do we? All in favor. Aye. 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 I'm not letting you, so I'm not going to even ask for a All right, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs>